Um, well, I'm a stuntman by trade. So from the age of nine, I've been racing motocross. I've been doing BMX. And um, so it was just a progression. I led into being qualified to become a, a stuntman. And um, over the last few years, I've worked on last year, I've, well, I've just finished uh, Fast and Furious 6. I was one of the main drivers there. I did Skyfall, I did Quantum of Solace before that, Prometheus, and, and quite a few other movies. So I do a lot of vehicle stuff. It's a brand new truck, so we've been testing. It's been driven from Sweden to here for this shoot. And, um, and that's as far as it's been driven. It's done two and a half thousand kilometers and that's it, and it's ready to go here. Um, how the bulls are gonna to react to a truck being in their run, we don't know. And obviously being a thousand year old medieval city, the roads are a little narrower than our, what we're used to. So we've got balconies and signs and just very tight roads that we're gonna be squeezing through with eight bulls chasing us. Um, well, hopefully I've got a, as long as the bulls are in my mirrors and they're behind me, I'm happy. Um, there's going to be guys running in between us and me and the bulls. I can't allow them tr the bulls to get too close to me because obviously I have to slow down for corners. I have to slow down for narrow bits. There's even one section where we're going through an archway. We have to pull the mirrors in, where, which is how tight we've got. We've literally got 100 millimetres each side. And at speed, we're going to have to judge that pretty well. Yeah, it's a good truck. It's, it's quite a short, stocky truck. It's got uh, around 210 horsepower. It's got an automatic gearbox. It handles surprisingly well. I can throw it into the corner as well. The ABS is great, which is great because we're on cobbled streets, which are quite slippery. And um, we've, and it just because it's low cab height, we're managing to fit under the balconies quite well. Um, so when we drive it in anger in about 14 hours' time, we'll find out properly. Um, mainly because we're in a town that is live, there are people here and everything, and we've got a, the townspeople have been great allowing us to use this town, so we've got to lock off and make sure, make sure it's safe for them, as well as us and the bulls. So that's the biggest section, fine, we've got a thousand year old buildings, we've got people watching, so we've just got to make it as safe as possible for everybody. For this, I'm thinking about my line, the space, because a lot of the corners are tight. I'm going to have to go from where the, the barriers for the safety for the bulls are, because it's coming tight, so, and to the curbs and, and to walls and everything. So try and keep smooth lines, race through, and keep an eye on my mirrors to make sure the bulls are a good distance, that they're not getting too close to me, they're not going to hit the, the truck, and to give space for the guys who are running so they can got space between me and the bulls to be safe between. Yeah, luckily we've got a, a very good truck and it's, it's very, it handles very well, very manoeuvrable around the corners. It's, sta it's very stable, very safe. The ABS and the traction control and the, wa the way the truck handles is great for taking these tight turns on an uneven surface with cobblestones and within the walls and everything. And um, I think we've got the right truck for the job. Two minutes to go, I'm here looking at this on the radio, one minute to go, and I see the guy lift the bar off the gate, into gear, hand on the handbrake, here we go, the gates are opening, I'm watching in my mirror. Just saw some horns come out, then another pair of horns, and they, slowly they come out. Then as, as they saw the road, off they went, eight of them, straight up the road here, under the bridge, and we're heading straight for the first corner. We've got a 90 degree left hand turn, hard on the brakes, left we go. We're on cobblestones here, the truck did it so well. The ABS didn't think, it didn't lock up at all. All I can see in my mirrors, I've got eight balls, plus all these guys in their white trousers and shirts, just running everywhere, up on the railings, all over the place. I saw in my mirror one of the guys, I think he went through the window of the cafe with a ball behind him. So I saw that going on, and same thing, just coming into Plaza Mayor, into the centre of the run. It comes, it funnels in, it gets a little bit narrow, because it's just where they put the fencing up. So there's people out in caf cafes having a nice lunch and having a lovely afternoon. And here we come flying through with a Volvo truck with eight bulls being chased by them. So I've got to accelerate a little bit, it's like an S-bend through there, so I accelerate a little bit through there. One less thing I have to worry about with the automatic gearbox, not having to shift gear or anything. I'm just watching my mirrors, looking where I'm going. The steering's nice and light and easy to use, the brakes are good. 
and then we're into what we call the chicane, which is a left right between a 1200 year old church on my left and a, another old building right in front of me. And they've been there 1200 years, they're not going to go anywhere, so I don't want to touch them. We squeeze through, carrying quite a bit of speed through here. And still the bulls, I'm just starting to leave the bulls a little bit now. Guys, all I can see in my mirrors, guys running everywhere. Guy actually came over the railing and took a cameraman out, I think somewhere there. So uh, it's quite exciting, yeah, there's a lot going on. I, I, I can't even remember looking forward very much. All I can remember seeing certain sections, but I'm looking so much in my mirrors and seeing where they, what's going on is, it was exciting, but glad it's over. Oh, for a, a guy who has to drive this truck every day, for work, be it whatever he's delivering and wherever he's driving, it's comfortable in the city, it's great out on the road. So the guy driving it all day, it's comfortable with the automatic gearbox. It's one less thing he has to worry about. The brakes are easy, the steering is so easy, it turns round so well. And, um, and the visibility is so hard. A lot of trucks don't have great visibility, so you can see, it's obviously working in the city and everything, you know, cars, bikes, motorcycles, pedestrians everywhere. You can see everything. A guy driving this truck every day, it's got to make his life easier. <laughs> That's really good. A bit unusual for me, I don't really talk that much. <laughs> it was really good. Okay, this is the first section of the run. This is where we've, the bulls have just been released from their pen. And uh, I'm just matching their speed here normally. So we're getting up, sort of, because they're, they're first out, they're, they're coming at a quite a speed here. So I'm just watching them in my mirrors good visibility on this truck and this hard left here so I, I try and take the racing line so I'm coming in hard on the brakes and we're going left here so it's, uh, it's a good corner because we're on cobblestones as well so it's quite slippery so the truck seems to just take it no matter how hard I throw it in there really well so we're getting up a fair speed here because it's quite a straight run with the balls right behind us and the guys are just getting quite excited and a little section here, I think one of the guys actually went through the cafe window here. So, uh, that's good. This is quite a fast corner here. I can hardly even slow down at all. Just coming around here at a good speed and the truck just seems to take it. Uh, coming into th this section we have to go a bit hard on the brakes because we're going, it slows down a fair bit. But with the ABS on the cobbles and everything, the automatic gearbox just so easy to drive because I'm not having to concentrate on changing gear too much so I can just look in my mirrors see what I'm doing see where I'm going and just get on with not hitting anything and keeping safe so because I like to accelerate hard to get away from the big bull there we got on the post office turn here which is quite a tight corner there's an overhang there a low cab height is handy and we come around this corner on these bills, buildings are a thousand years old, so we don't want to be hitting any of them. And this is a real fast section. We call this the chicane. So we're coming in hard, hard on the brakes here. The ABS doing its things. We're on cobblestones again. And we go left through this tight section, right through there. And then we go right again, out in here, nearing the end of the first section of the run. Fun. Yeah, I'm having fun. It's not every day you get chased by eight fire-breathing bulls around a, a thousand-year-old medieval city that we can just squeeze a truck through. So yeah, I'm having fun. It's, it's one of the be better days of work. <laughs>